Good morning and welcome to Cincinnati Issues. I'm Lincoln Ware. We're here every Sunday morning, 630 on Star 64. We've got a great show lined up for you today. I've got Robert Jones coming up. I've got Brian Gary and Kathy Ingram, State Representative Kathy Ingram coming up in the show. So we've got a great show lined up. My first guest, none other than the Cincinnati Tyler Perry. Robert Jones, how you doing? Welcome to the show. I'm doing fine, man. It's a pleasure to be here, Lincoln. Now, you know, uh, tell us about fine. this movie you produced. Uh, you wrote the movie, produced it right here in Cincinnati. Even had a, a red carpet grand opening out at the Kenwood Theater where it was a packed house. That's right. That's right. Yeah, we sold out out there at the Kenwood Theater. And then we had an after party at the Greenwich, you know. And uh, uh, the response has been really great, uh, overwhelming. Uh, the Cincinnati Enquirer gave me a whole page. Really? You know? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Cincinnati Herald, they did a big article on it, too. And there's been a lot of buzz going on. It's been a while since um, I've been able to get any type of distribution. So what I started to do was put it on my website. So September the 12th, September the 12th. And what is the name of this movie? Grandpa. It's called Grandpa. <laughs> now, okay, Grandpa. why did you name it Grandpa? Or what does Grandpa do in this movie? <laughs> okay, Grandpa, I got to keep it real. I'm a grandfather now. And, you know, when you become a grandfather, you think different about life. You know that, you know, uh, you're running out of time. And I have a grandson. So the purpose of me was to change the image of a lost generation, a generation that take pride in walking around with their pants hanging down, you know? So I attacked that issue. You know, I'm whooping the young boys like it ain't nothing. You know, I don't have no mercy on them. You mean you're you know actually I'm beating them up? <laughs> I'm beating them up. I'm committing <laughs> violent acts against them. Really? I'm doing everything, you know? <laughs> but, but. But I was in Kroger's. I got, I got to share this with you right quick. I was in Kroger's in the uh, vegetable and fruit section. And this was after the movie had aired at the Kenwood Theater. And this young lady, she screamed at me. She said, Grandpa, because people started calling me Grandpa after the movie. The movie. Okay. You know, I know you're going to be a sweet Joan. But after I did that movie, everybody started calling me Grandpa. And she said she went to go see the movie and she loved it and she brought her son. And um, I said, well, how old is your son? She said, he's 18. And she said, after he saw that movie, he don't want to say it no more. <laughs> well, okay. You, you made I an impression. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed her. I gave her a hug. We went our separate ways. And I thought that's the purpose. That's the payoff mm -hmm. to change, to change the image of a lost generation. Yes, yes. And it's more to it than just that now. You know, it's got some street vibes in there. Mm. It's got some action and some violent scenes, but it also has a totally different plot because my grandson makes the movie. The little boy, his name is Armin Shackleford. Uh -huh. Great actor, great okay. actor. He takes the movie to another dimension. Now, how did you and find the actors? How did you find the people actor. to act in this movie? How did you find them? Did you just, uh, how did you find them? Where did you that find was them? John. That was a job, you know, because if you're an independent filmmaker, everybody asks me that question too. If you're an independent filmmaker, you know, people don't really take you seriously. They think you're just joking. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think, well, well, well I thought you were just joking. Man. You asked me to be in the movie and I turned you down. <laughs> man, I missed out. <laughs> I, know, I know, and I know, I know you was trying to get with me to get that players ball. Yeah, you know, when yeah, I got so busy, yeah. I never did get back with you, man. But a lot of people thought that they say, Oh man, he talking about doing a movie. I was serious. I worked on that movie two years. But what I started doing, and we, hold on, and right. we don't have much time left. I want you to tell people where they can see the movie because uh, they, I know they want to find out where they can see it and check it out. How can they do that? Okay, okay, they can see the movie at GrandpaLive.com. Most people don't know when the Indians pray to the sun, they call the sun Grandpa. There are a lot of movies, but Grandpa isn't just a movie. It's a classic. Didn't I tell you, you can't come in my house looking like that? Okay. All right. Look here, Sean. 
I want you to listen to me. I want you to go upstairs. I want you to do your homework. And I don't want you coming down here for nothing. Grandpa at www.grandpalive.com forward slash watch dash grandpa. That's www.grandpalive.com forward slash watch dash grandpa. Again, www.grandpalive.com forward slash Watch Dash Grandpa.